Hello everyone, Green Gemini here, and welcome to an Oxygen Not Included tutorial. Today, we are going to spend a little bit of time showing how to get into this lovely slime biome here. I see it from time to time on Reddit and in other chats and everything, Facebook groups and stuff, on people asking how on earth you get into these slime biomes, especially with the way they look off to the side and everything else. So that is what we are going to be doing today. But first, a real quick word from, well, me. Uh, if you're in the United States, be sure to go to my new business website, rptcandlecompany.com, and view our small but growing business venture into the world of candle making. Our candles are made of natural soy wax with a wick that ensures a clean burn and minimal sitting. These candles will fill your room with an amazing aroma to help you relax and feel nice and cozy at the end of a long day. Be sure to use code ONITUT20 for the Ani tutorial series to get 20% off of your first order. Now back to the game. So as you can see on the map here, we actually have three different slime biomes. We've got one over here, one here, and we've got one down here. Now, the easiest way that I have found, and again, disclaimer, this is what works best for me. This may not be what works best for you, or you can find your own ways of going into these slime biomes. Uh, but I'm going to show a couple different methods of getting into these. One from the very, very top. Uh, one from kind of the side, in a sense. Uh, and that's really the two that I have. There's one from the top and one from the side. Uh, so what we're going to do, I already have this kind of primed up and ready to go here. So what I've got is I've got a uh, couple of manual generators and then a couple battery packs up here. I'm still early into the game. I'm at cycle 39. I've done some research and everything, but me, again, personally, I use a lot of manual power in the beginning of the game just because I like to explore the map. I like to see things that are going on. I like to dig into things. So, yeah, that's that's what I'm doing here. So I've got this area here, and this is the top of the biome right here. So I'm actually going to come into here and come down this way. But in order to do that first, we're going to have to get our dupes to come up here, do a little bit of digging uh, just to get this hydrogen out of here to get a little bit of oxygen in here. So we'll kind of see what we can do with that. And then what I've got is, so with this door and with this here, I don't know if I necessarily want to have all the hydrogen come up out of here. Probably do. So let's just kind of do that. I, I just want to make sure that our dupes have enough oxygen to be able to uh, operate here. And then the other thing, obviously, too, is and the reason why this is like this is I want to make sure that I'm building this up ahead of time. So I'm going to pause the game here. Uh, I'm going to get my wire down through here. Ooh, look, I've got some down here too. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, bring it over. So the main thing that I want to do with this, and I'm not using any oxygen mass. I'm not using any other type of thing. Okay. Yes, polluted oxygen. You're going to have yucca lung, right? You're going to have that nasty lung and everything. And with the slime, Thankfully, up here, we don't have any slime lung. Down here, we do. But as long as we keep the slime in the water that has the slime lung in it, it will not evaporate or it will not off gas into the polluted oxygen. The other thing that we're going to do, too, is we're also going to make sure that we have. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Oxygen. Yes. Deodorizers. We also want to make sure that we have a bunch of deodorizers available to us as well. Uh, in order for me to do this stuff, though, I'm going to have to get rid of all of these plants, which is fine because these bomb lilies, I believe, have to be in chlorine gas. Yes, they do. Uh, we're not going to touch that chlorine gas that's over there. So we're going to get this taken care of. And then I'm going to make sure that I'm kind of setting this up to where I can go uh really straight down into here but also down this way too because i've got that room that i need to get into and if i look at my germs and everything so slime lung is there so i could go straight down with my ladder here i think that's what i'm going to end up doing because that will go right straight down into that water i think we'll be okay doing that so there's a couple different routes that here that we're going to do 
Uh, so we've got that. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start off by doing a couple of airflow tiles. We're going to do one here and here. I'm going to do two more here. So that'll allow the dupes to come over that way. We're going to use... What resources do I have here? Igneous rock. So make sure that the dupes aren't traveling very far for materials here to build things. And then we're going to take this. Yes, I'm still using copper, but that's because that's the majority of what I have. So we'll do that. So we'll put four of these in here. Let's go ahead and go with four of these. It's, it's kind of unfortunate that the um, geodorizers have to use power now, right? I mean, before they didn't have to, but unfortunately now they do. It's okay. It's no big deal. Uh, get all of our dupes up here to get all this built. So now that I've got all of this built, I just want to double check and make sure that all of these deodorizers have sand in them, which all of them do except for this one, still waiting a little bit, which he's getting there. I'm going to change my priority on these to a seven just to make sure that they get taken care of, because as soon as we jump in here, right, we've got 1800 grams per square of oxygen. It's not going to blow the roof off of this, but with us only having, um, what is that, about 570 uh, and the hydrogen around here, it's it's going to overtake this pretty easily. And part of the reason why I also haven't done that slime here, even though it doesn't have any slime lung, there's it's still going to off gas, right? As soon as we get that in here, it's going to off gas. Uh, let me double check and make sure I've got, I should have, yeah, I've got enough igneous rock in here to do this. Um, so we've got that. And then once we start digging this out, we're going to have sedimentary rock available to us. So we'll start, we'll switch that over to sedimentary rock. We'll dig this stuff out. I'm trying to avoid digging out uh, where these are because I kind of want to utilize that for right now. So you can see how, let's took, take our uh, overlay to gases, right? So we have, and our, this is the reason why I have four of these up here. It's because we have a lot of polluted oxygen trying to escape out of here now. And as soon as it's trying to escape out, I've got all four of these deodorizers working very, very well to ensure that they can go ahead and uh, take care of that. So I'm going to go ahead and dig these out. The slime that's here doesn't have any slime lung in it. So all it's going to do is off gas uh, the polluted oxygen. Now, unfortunately, the slime will end up going. Where is it at? Polluted oxygen. I thought I had slime in here somewhere. There it is. So it is emitting polluted oxygen. And it's also, you can see how the kilograms of it are going down. Uh, 0.1 kilogram per every time it off gases or 0.2, somewhere around there. So we're going to need to get that into water as quickly as possible. Uh, what we're going to have the dupes do, though, is we have this digging that's going to be done here. We're going to go ahead and do a ladder of, is that sedimentary rock? Yes, sedimentary rock here. And dig that out. We'll have a dupe submit their bioscan there. We are going to take sedimentary rock down here. Continue to dig the sedimentary rock out. So even though, yes, they might have a little bit of yuck along, but that's going to be the easiest step for them to be able to go ahead and come down this way. And then what we can do is we can go ahead and extend our wire on down this way. Uh, let's bring it over here, connect it to that. Ooh, not going to be able to because of that. That's OK. We'll fix it here in a minute. There. There we go. Got that done. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and add an additional geodorizer here. Now, here's the thing we got to remember, too, right? We got to make sure that 
these are prioritized a little bit higher as well so that uh, our power doesn't run out. Because if our power runs out on the deodorizers, then all of this uh, nasty, nasty polluted oxygen is going to end up escaping out into our base. We don't want that to happen. But that is why I only connect, only, only connect these deodorizers to this because we only have 20 watts connected to these wires right now, soon to be 25. Uh, and only with these big batteries and everything. So that's going to help us out. Might take a little bit of time. However, it's still worth it, right? So we've got that opened up. We've got this dug out here. I'm just going to take this and now go straight down with it. And then I'm also going to dig out off to the side here too, because we are going to end up needing more sedimentary rock as we come down and then this is also exposing all of this other area here too so that we can kind of see what else that we're working with looks like we've got our fossil over here and unfortunately we have a spore chid in here with zombie spores fantastic that's that's going to be something completely different that we deal with um, but what we will be able to do is get this to go all the way down to where all of our polluted water, we can just kind of pool down here <coughs> and then we'll be good to go with, uh, with this. That'll be awesome. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and create another one of these here. And then I think depending on, can't put that there, but I can't put that there. So I'll put one there and then I'll put another one here. So we've got polluted oxygen off gassing over here from this water. That'll kind of help take care of that. We have this one taking care of some stuff over here. These I'm still going to keep. They act as a barrier. They act as a safeguard so that even though we're clearing out the polluted oxygen down here, if something ends up getting passed or if these end up don't having any uh, sand in them, right? I'm trying to think of what that word was. Uh, that will definitely help catch all of that stuff right and we are at 1200 here in that so that's good hydrogen i'm not worried about whatsoever plus the good thing about doing this too is that your dupes now have the ability to i mean they, they're gonna breathe clean air now coming through here and then what you can do next really is is up to you right on what you want to do do you want to go ahead and dig the rest of this out do you want to core it out um I'm at least going to go ahead and get the ladder built down to here uh, and let them get that taken care of. But first, before that, I do want to show you, you can use that same method over here coming into the side as well. Oh, he's got to go away. He's going to end up turning that all the fresh water. That's OK. It's fine. Uh, but over here, we can kind of do the same thing. So if you look at this. Right. Let's extend this out just a little bit going that way. And then you can always do, say, a couple of manual generators here with a couple of batteries. Hook it up to power. And then even though the dupes have to have two spaces, I also have the mod that shows you how far of what the range is on these. So this goes two tiles up and two tiles down. So I can actually have uh, a couple of these sitting here, say like we do three here, and then I can actually even do three up here as well. And then I can dig that out. I can put these up here. It's a little overkill, but better safe than sorry when it comes to this stuff. Uh, so we can just take this, connect it all up, and then from here, we can then just dig right straight into this biome. It will give us oxygen. I mean, there's polluted oxygen and stuff like that in here. Honestly, no big deal uh, because that will help take care of this. And then when it comes to the slime and everything that's over here, we've got slime lung, right? We have slime lung that's in here. Slime, slime lung will die in oxygen. Uh, the thing is, though, is that you want to be very careful with your dupes because you don't necessarily want them tracking it throughout your entire base either. Right. So with this, you can kind of avoid that slime a little bit and then dig over into this way, maybe get into this polluted water here 
uh, get yourself some polluted oxygen or some polluted oxygen, some polluted water kind of built down toward the bottom. That way, when you start coring out this whole biome, that that stuff will actually fall into the uh, polluted water and it won't off gas that nasty slime lung. Other thing that you can do, too, when you're in your research tree is you can get where is it, which I haven't researched it yet. Oh, no, I have. It's right here. The automatic dispenser. So it should be in here. Yep. So the automatic dispenser, another thing you can do, you can set this up. Let's just do a little demo here. Uh, once the dupes come back, but you can set this up wherever you need it to be. Set it to sweep only and then have your slime go to this to be dropped into water. Right. So say this was our pit for our polluted water. I mean, you can drop it in water, too, if you want to. But you can switch it to sweep only, right? And then it'll drop into here and then it won't off gas. That will actually help you a lot as well. So those are definitely the things that you will need in order to do this. Uh, let's uh, let the time lapse happen and see what we can do to kind of show you what this will look like here in the, in the end. So we have started coring this out and everything. As you can see, we are using the method of... Thankfully, this actually worked out really well when we uh, stopped down here. So with these ladder segments, right, you've got seven spaces in between. That's because with the ladder here, you can go four up from this point and then three down from this point, right? So that's the easiest way to go through and quickly core something out, especially when you have a couple of dupes with nothing else really to do right you've got your builder you've got your digger uh, and then you can change your priorities around a little bit as you need to but this will actually make it to where they get through here a lot faster and with my digger now that we have this large pool of water down here he is actually going to be able to go through and dig this slime out and we're going to have hopefully very little slime lung that off gases into here we have some that's hitting up here unfortunately because you know we uh we hit some slime that decided to off gas but that's okay it's fine it'll be all right uh that's part of the reason why we have some of this stuff up here in place that we do because when we look at the slime lung that's starting to hit up here right it's hitting that oxygen it's killing off uh, the dupes don't really have to worry about it too much, but they will kind of get themselves a little yucky. We could add showers in here if we needed to, so they could rinse it off, however you wanted to do it. But this kind of gives you a really good idea as to what we're doing and, and how things are coming. So that is all I have for you guys today in this video. If you like the video, go ahead and give it a like. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do so. If there's a tutorial that I haven't covered yet in this series and you'd like to see something, go ahead and make the comment down below. That is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching, everyone, and I'll see you next time.